Hello everyone, welcome back to Bootstrap Workbench. Today I'd like to give you an introduction to the Kenwood SM220 station monitor. Uh, we'll run through uh, what the controls do, and then uh, in uh, further videos we'll take a look at uh, how to properly connect the uh, SM220 to an HF transceiver and uh, use it to show uh, your envelope, uh, trapezoid display, uh, so that you can see your linearity. And we'll talk about some of the other features that uh, are included in the SM220 but aren't as commonly used. So, uh, let's start at the uh, top left. We have uh, your power indicator and your power switch. Uh, that's uh, pretty self-explanatory. Intensity control uh, to display or to uh, change the intensity of the uh, display on the screen. Focus uh, so that you can bring the uh, trace in uh, to a crisp display. Vertical input on this side, horizontal input on this side, this is also external sync. You have your uh, vertical attenuator, uh, so you can have it in ground, monitor position, 1 100th, 110, or 1. Uh, your vertical gain, your vertical position, your horizontal position, your uh, sweep variable and uh, external gain control, and then your sweep ranges. Uh, so here, uh, in band scope, you have uh, 10 to 100, 100 to 1K, 1 to 10K, 10 to 100K, and then uh, here you have RTTY external and trap, or, so this would be your uh, trapezoidal display selector. Here, uh, these are going to be your controls for uh, the... Uh, Scope display for uh, if you have it connected to uh, any of the Kenwood models that allow you to use this as a pan adapter. I don't have that, so I won't be able to demonstrate that. Uh, tone generator output, and for uh, your tone control, you have off, 1000 Hz, 1575 Hz, and two tone, uh, which will give you a, uh, a two tone output that uh, where the two tones are not harmonically related. Uh, RF attenuator, uh, max here, minimum here. Uh, and then function, so you can have it in oscilloscope, RTTY, monitor, trapezoid, or band scope, uh, which is the uh, what we would use these controls for that I was talking about earlier. So, uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and now and uh, show you how to hook this up to uh, a transceiver so that uh, you can get a display out of it. What I'm going to do is pause the recording and uh, get things turned around and set up and uh, I will be right back. Alright, I'm back and we have things turned around. Uh, this is the uh, Kenwood SM220. This is my ICOM 7300 transceiver. So the first thing that you'll do on the uh, SM220 side is you'll want to plug it in. This is going to be your standard IAC line cord like you would find on a computer or uh, pretty much any modern electronics that plugs into the wall. And then you're going to need some RF jumpers. So we'll want to go from the ICOM 7300. To the RFN on the uh, SM220. And this will allow us to show our uh, modulation envelope on either AM or single sideband. Then from here your RF output connector would go to uh, either your uh, amplifier or your antenna tuner or your antenna or in this case we're going to be going to a Heathkit Cantenna dummy load so that we're not broadcasting over the air. So let me go ahead and get everything turned around. I'm going to pause the uh, recording again and uh, I'll show you what the uh, envelope display looks like. Alright, welcome back. We've got everything turned around and uh, double checked all of our connections. Everything's ready to go. So we're going to go ahead and power on our transceiver. Alright, 
Then we're going to go ahead and power on our uh, SM220. Now, being that this has a cathode ray, a silis or a cathode ray uh, tube in it, it's going to take it just a few minutes to warm up. Uh, the other thing that I do is I keep my intensity control turned down, so I'm going to go ahead and start adjusting that up, and we'll see if we have sweep here. Yes, we do. Uh, normally, when I'm using this, I like to keep it turned down uh, kind of on the dim side to save the life of the tube, but I'll go ahead and turn it up uh, so that it can be seen on camera. Now, your focus control, if you're off, your trace is going to be a, a big fat trace either direction. You just want to make sure that you tune it back and forth until you have that trace nice and sharp. Uh, you want to have your uh, vertical uh, selector switch in the ground monitor position. Uh, vertical gain, you can leave that set uh, mid-range along with the uh, sweep variable for now. Uh, on the vertical position and the horizontal position, you just want to make sure that you adjust those so that you have... I like to have vertical position where it's uh, across the center radical. And then for uh, your horizontal position, if you're off to one side, you can adjust it either way to bring that trace in so that it covers the, the width of the screen. And then you'll want to make sure that you have your sweep range uh, set into a position where it gives you a line. Uh, if you have it too slow, it'll just give you a uh, sweeping dot, which is not going to be terribly useful at least for uh, setting these parameters. Uh, then we want to go up here, make sure your tone generator is in off, your function is in monitor trapezoid, and uh, RF attenuation you can set to max for now. We're going to go ahead and set our transceiver for CW, and we're set at 50 watts right now. So we'll go ahead and uh, key uh, through the SM220 into our uh, Heathkit Cantenna dummy load, and we'll see what our signal looks like. All right, we'll turn the attenuation down just a little bit. That's actually pretty good right there. What we want to do, uh, I typically keep it where it's set across two graticals on the uh, screen. So uh, we can change our transceiver into single sideband mode. And when we uh, key the transceiver and talk into the mic, we should see our envelope displayed here, so let's go ahead and try that. Kilo, Delta, 5, Tango, Kilo, Romeo, Mobile, Mobile, Monitoring. So, uh, kind of messed up my call there. But anyway, uh, you can see that uh, the envelope was displayed here. I'm going to turn the attenuation down just a little bit more. Kilo, Delta, 5, Tango, Kilo, Romeo, testing, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So you can see the envelope displayed there on the screen. I'll go ahead and switch to AM mode. Kilo, Delta, 5, Tango, Kilo, Romeo, Mobile, testing, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So there, similarly, uh, you can see our envelope displayed. Uh, doesn't really seem to matter whether you're in uh, AM or sideband. So that's uh, the basics of the envelope display. Now, uh, I think that's going to be it for today. Uh, to go further into this, I'll need to uh, hook up the amplifier here on the bench, and uh, I'll show how to do the connections on that in the next video, and then uh, we'll go through how to use the trapezoid display, uh, which is something that you can do when you have your amplifier connected to uh, display your linearity. Uh, and uh, I'll go further into a, a discussion of uh, linearity uh, in my next video as well, when we get to the uh, the part about trapezoid display. Uh, the nice thing here, though, is uh, you can adjust your mic gain. So if you have your mic gain turned up way too far, you'll be able to see it on the screen here. Let me go ahead and we'll add that into the video this time. So, Kilo, Delta, 5, Tango, Kilo, Romeo, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So what you'll see is at the top of my signal, there is um, basically it flat tops, and that, that's clipping. It's something that you don't want to see. If you see that, then things are uh, just overdriven way too far. And when they're overdriven, um, you'll run into problems with intermodulation distortion and linearity, and there's all kinds of other issues. Um, it's damaging to your equipment. You put out a bad sounding signal, 
you can be way, way too wide. Uh, just trash the entire band, co-channel interference, lots and lots of bad things. Kilo, Delta, 5, Tango, Kilo, Romeo, testing, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So there, uh, that's the, uh, a good introduction to the SM220. And uh, I'll have another video out uh, here in just a few days. Thanks for watching and uh, have a great evening.